Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at the MCC Community Garden. You might notice something a little bit different. We're no longer Zooming these. And are now joined in person by Rachel Massini from UNH Cooperative Extension. Rachel, good to see you. You, you too, Ray. <laughs> so nice to be and out of that. And we're talking about something now that a lot of people uh, might have some problems with this time of year, and that's cutworms. Cutworms, exactly. You're going to be starting to put your plants in the ground, those, you know, those delicate transplants, and you're putting them out now that Memorial Day is behind us and so what's going to happen is if you do have cutworms they have overwintered in that um, almost that last instar before they become moths these are a lepidoptera which is a moth and so what's going to happen is they're going to go after that nice tender stalk on your plant the one you just bought at your garden center exactly <laughs> all right so how do i protect my plants from there's these a few insects? things you can do one of them is going to be monitoring so you want to make sure that you're keeping track of your plants when you're digging your hole you might see them in the soil um, they are a greasy, um, grayish color, and if you disturb them, they're going to um, like roll up into a, a tight ball. How long are these, uh, or how big are these insects? This About this time of year, they're probably about, I'd say, an inch long, and they're a little bit, mm, maybe three to four centimeters um, wide. Okay, so one of the things you can do is uh, basically put a collar on your plants, right? You can. One of the things you can do is you can make your own, or you can buy, we call them cut, um, cutworm collars. This one I made out of a plastic container. All I did was I cut the bottom off, and what you will do is you'll put that over the plant all the way down to the soil. You want to get that bottom edge into the soil about one inch and then leave about three inches above the soil. And that will prevent them from getting to that stem. Okay. So, and there are other ones that you said uh, you can buy basically cutworm collars? That you work can. You can buy um, cutworm collars or you can, again, make your own using a um, toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll. You just cut it in the size of your um, your transplant. Okay. And is there anything to do to treat the soil or at this point, not really? Just protect the plants? Yeah, just try to protect your plants. All right. And hopefully that way you'll be enjoying your tomatoes and your rest of your plants and not the cutworms. That's it for today's Grow Green.